What's going on, you guys? I'd like to welcome you guys to the Chinese Boy Big Dial Back of the Review for Legion. Chapter 23. Uh, see, or now you go by seasons. Like season three, episode four, I think, something like that. If you go by season, either way, go to chapter three. You know what it is. It's the most recent episode of Legion. Look at the day. You should know what it is. Uh, and honestly, I initially was like, yeah. It's kind of like my Legion reviews don't just do that great. So I was like, I'm just going to wait until like the end of the season, just review the overall season as a whole. But this episode, honestly, just too good, if I'm just being honest. Like it, it was like, and I understood what was going on. Like some of the things that happened in here. And listen, please, people, when I say certain things, don't get your panties or, or, or nuts tangled up, whatever. Like it's just certain things just, just remind me of others. Uh, uh, so... We we start this episode like time uh, is, is jumping back and forth. You don't know what's going on. It's like what the hell is going on? Like what what is this? Because at the first I thought we were gonna get like a little like you know how Legion be tripping and you don't necessarily know exactly what the hell is going on. But this episode didn't do that. Like it pretty much was like straightforward. We we're dealing with like basically time demons and and and. and, and uh, David and Switch have been going back in time constantly and constantly and like Switch was like, yo, something's not right. Like we're like we're losing time, you know what I'm saying? And and she starts to tell him about the time demons. They pretty much eat time. And so I it would like jump from one thing to another. And it's actually like really, really dope. And like the time demons are and she said they look like cats. They didn't look like cats at all. They look more like clowns. Or something you will see like on a, a mask you'll see like on a purge movie or something like that and overall it gets to like everybody and they're, they're very very powerful they they'll take all your time away and you end up dying as we seen with letty like she had probably had the most tragic thing happen to her she had her and her girlfriend uh was expecting a baby had the baby she had, and listen she had to go through all this within like a two minute span she had the baby. The baby was being like she being like raised. You saw the baby when she was a child. I mean, when it was a baby, a child, teenager, grown. Uh, 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 had her own grandchild. She was old. She had to see her die. Like she had to see live all of that. Uh, and I don't know what happened to the girl. She had the baby body. It's like yeah, she had to live through all of that just because these time demons just playing her. Also, with Sid, like time started collapsing on herself. Sid was talking to younger Sid. It's like David was talking to his mother. He, they sent him back in time to talk to his mother, even though that was just kind of a trap. And like, he's super, super powerful. So I knew David was going to find him. I'm like, this is the strongest mute. So he is going to find a way to get out of here. And he did. And you have Farouk taking uh, uh, care of them to, like, hey, we have to go to where they at. And then they go and you just, it's like basically like snapshots, that whole sequence, which like at first it was bothering me. I'm like, why would I care? Like, this is stupid. I, I didn't say stupid, I'm like, hey, this is just, it just felt weird. But overall, after it started happening more and more, like the whole, like the fight scene they had, where I'm like, you know what, this is actually hard. I, I like, this is like creative as hell. You know what I'm saying? I didn't take that credit, it took me a minute to appreciate it, but I, I did. Also, this is the second time this year uh, I've seen like uh, 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 people come, like just random orgasms in a superhero show, man. Like, <laughs> uh, I, because all of David's fault, David's father was like, "Hey, Daddy, make us happy," and he just, I'm assuming that everybody had an orga orgasm. I don't know what else could have happened. I'm assuming I've seen that one other time this year. Probably one other time in my entire life would just. Just have, just hey, I can just give you an orgasm. And that was on Doom Patrol. I have to, I, I must admit, Doom Patrols was better. Doom Patrols was like honestly the greatest thing I think I might have ever seen on any show ever. Like it was fantastic. If you ain't watched Doom Patrol, go binge that because it, it was. I'm telling you, when you get to that scene, it's immaculate, bro. Uh, also, something else. The time demons kind of remind me of like the time. Reapers from like the Flash, you know what I'm saying? And they basically do the same thing. It's like, hey, you're fooling with time. These people are here to come stop you and like kill you. It just uh uh they have only one time. Well, well, typically in the Flash, they don't have one time Reaper. And here they like have tons and tons and tons of uh 
uh, 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 time demons or time eaters, whatever they want to call them. Uh, so David ends up like, hey, and he gets out of this trap. And he's like, hey, y'all stop playing with me, bruh. I, and he just, just says one more fire. Just, 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 he finally figures out the game. Like, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm all powerful, bro. Don't play with me. And he, he pretty much said the other one, like, hey, stay out of my way. So I'm kind of wondering, cause like, see, it was like, oh, this is how he destroys the world. And in a, in a way, it could, he could have, cause he could have, like, so many things could have happened. Like, he could have went back in time. Like, the, even they said, like, could have went back to, like, the dinosaur ages. Like, you, they can, like, chew away time from everyone to the point where it's like, they're dead, basically. So it's like, and because we saw when it happened, when they chewed away the time with the apple, the apple just, you know, they turned into dust. That's what they do. They chew away time from whatever. And so we thought that was how David was going to take over the world. I mean, destroy the world, but he, I ain't going to say he saved it because initially, he, he technically saved it, but he's the person who, who, it's his fault. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't really get no points for him. Like stopping something that you like started, bro. Like it's, 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 it, we wouldn't have to worry about this shit if you wouldn't do this shit in the first place. You know what I'm saying? But man, I I I, I, I enjoyed this episode. Like I really did. That's the only reason. I, like I said, I was gonna wait to do some more reviews, but like this episode was too good, so I had to talk about it tonight. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything I missed because just as I, I did a review and I missed like some key stuff and I, I was so angry at myself because I don't like going back and do like oh a part two all the stuff I missed but so I'm just trying to think I don't write notes I just press play and I just go I, I guess I get shit started right taking notes and shit you know what I'm saying so I can make sure I hit everything I need to but I think that's all I needed to hit Carrie got switched now and, De and David said he's going to war which is Let's just be honest. I know Farouk is pretty powerful, but man, you don't want to go to war against David, bruh. And like, I'm kind of wondering, like, did David manipulate Switch? Because we, we've we seen multiple times David has, like, used his power to, to make somebody do something they don't want, dude. But he got us in the bind we in now. But like, I'm kind of wondering, like, does, does, uh, like what does like a switch like agree to it willingly, right? I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm kind of wondering like now that they have her, what are they, what exactly are they going to do? Like I don't, I don't, I like. I feel like David's at a disadvantage, but since he's him, like it's kind of like ah, is he really at a disadvantage? I mean, the guy's freaking all powerful. Like he can pretty much do whatever he thinks of. So. Except for time travel, so I'm I'm interested to see what happens. Uh, but this episode, like I said, this episode was too good for me not to review it. Uh, you guys, let me know if you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I catch up with you guys later. Peace.